What's up, third graders? Uh, welcome to my crib. In this video, I'm gonna go through a couple things. Uh, one, I'm gonna show you the process that I would use to pick an object to personify, okay? So I'm gonna walk around my house, I'm gonna look for different things and think what I would wanna personify. That's number one. Um, number two, I'm gonna teach you how to capture the photo of that object. So, you know, I'm gonna, you're gonna see the insides of my iPad, I'm gonna take the photo. After I've got the photos I like, I'm gonna kinda select the one I wanna use, and then I'm gonna go through the process of actually showing you the tools inside of the iPad, how would I say it, to make the uh, object come alive, right? To personify it. So we can use different tools. I'm gonna show you all those tools. And lastly, just show you how you can kinda upload it to, uh, to Seesaw, and then maybe take some next steps if you're ready for the next steps. So, without further ado, we're gonna tour the house. All right, let's get to it. I really like this. We're a music family, and we love listening to music, so that might work really well. Let's go check out some other things. Oh, hey, Mrs. C, she's hi. home. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Whoa. I like the idea of maybe some the vinegar and the oil, kind of like, I don't know, I could see two little characters accompanying each other. There's also salt and pepper, that might work. I'm gonna keep those in mind. Uh, I'm gonna keep going though, guys. Oh, and we're in baby Mila's room, and those eyelashes are catching me right off the bat. That might be something fun to play with. I don't know, let's keep on touring though. Look for fun objects like this. Uh, Liam's got some bath toys. Those things could work. I'm really thinking about the music thing now that's really on my mind right now. Let's go. Okay, so I've got a HomePod in here as well. It's kind of like, I don't know, maybe that HomePod would work. I gotta decide which HomePod I want. Good questions. Let's keep on touring though. In the living room we're playing over here things are going down i know when you're at home and you're doing your thing you might have other things going on in there in the room or at your home totally cool to kind of include your family and i think i'm gonna go with the home pod i'm gonna try taking pictures of salt and pepper and the home pod and the reason why i'm gonna choose the home pod is because we love music and i just kind of as i as i've been thinking about it I've got the idea of, of making him, like, uh, making the HomePod a DJ. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call him yet, but I think he's got a kind of a cool round shape. So I could put some eyes in him here. I can draw some arms on him. And the DJ could play, be a, you know, play some music. And this is perfect for our family because we listen to the HomePod all the time. It's something we love. So I'm thinking this would be a good one. What's up, buddy? Huh? I'm gonna get a nice, clear picture. I'm gonna put him in the middle. The home in the middle. Like that. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Maybe we'll come like this. I might even turn the camera around like this and get a long, long way picture here because I like the TV up above. Um, just the. Ooh, look at that one. That was pretty good. I'm take one more back here. Notice I'm just taking a bunch of photos, right? I'm not, I can pick the best one later. If I don't take enough photos, I'll never know which one's gonna work. Okay, so I've got like five photos of each, and I think that's perfect. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and go take a look at them, decide which one I wanna use. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna open my photos app. Open my photos app, and you can see. I mean, I took you more than five of each. Um, so I'm actually glad that I took a lot of photos because I, I didn't really know which one I wanted to use and I was trying to decide between a photo like this, okay, and a photo like this. And I think I've decided to go with something like this. Um, some of them were a little blurry, so I was having a hard time deciding. And I think that something like this photo looks perfect right here. It gives me some room to work with. Let me just give you some, um, some tour of the tools and what you can do. So on the top right, you can press on edit. And when you press on edit, it opens up these different types of tools. There's three little dots here, okay? If you, if you press on the three little dots, you can press on markup. 
And you can see at the bottom, it opens up all of these different tools. I've got highlighters, I've got erasers. Um, I've got, uh, you know, let me zoom in a little bit here. Back, I've got a better view. Uh, and you're gonna have to play with these. That's the whole point of today. I'm not gonna show you how to use all of them. I am gonna show you how I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna use this little draw tool here. When I press on it, you can uh, select the thickness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, do some arms, okay? And I might do a little stick finger. Yeah, you get the point here, some arms. If I don't like it, okay, you can press on this button here and that undoes it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play and see what I come up with. So as you see this fast forwarded version of me drawing, you're going to see me use a variety of tools. Here I'm using the pen, okay? Uh, you can draw with your finger. It'll work just as, you know, just the same. Um, the, the pencil does work really well, uh, but the, your finger will work. You'll see me adding text boxes like this. And in here, I'm kind of figuring some stuff out. I was trying to make that bigger and I realized I had to use the text tool to make it larger. So I'm using emojis, putting eyes on here. When we prefer to personify an object, we bring it to life. So um, I'm giving this guy, it's a DJ, so I'm giving his headphones. Um, so you can see I'm using a variety of tools, right? We've got images, we have text boxes, we're drawing on top of it, using emojis. Look at me exploring, making little mistakes here. It's going to happen to you today. Just start drawing and having fun with it. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Uh, Got like a little rough draft on. I've got his arms, his mouth, his eyes. He's got some headphones on. Uh, you know, I've put some music notes in the background. Uh, some other things you can do is you can kind of look at some of these different camera settings. Okay, there are over here, there are filters. So you can change the, the look. Ooh, I kind of dig that. Nice white look. All right, for now, I don't know if I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look through and see if I like anything. Uh, that's a nice clean look. I might keep that one actually. That looks pretty nice right now. Again, uh, you, you can press, you can use the filters and make sure you just explore all of these markup tools. All right, I'm gonna keep it really simple and I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna press done and now it's ready to upload to uh, Seesaw, right?